Well, have you ever wanted to own a racehorse? There is a man who started out by joining a harness racing fan club, gets a copy of his harness racing insider as uh, part of being a member. And we had a chance to meet with him because recently, James Tish just bought himself a racehorse. James Tish enjoys a pretty nice lifestyle living at his home on Orr Lake, which is located in Brighton, Michigan. Some days you can find him sitting on his boat reading his Harness Racing Insider magazine. And James, I guess it's a pretty nice lifestyle for you, isn't it? Oh, yes. Right. Now, why would somebody who enjoys this kind of lifestyle get involved in harness racing and ultimately own a racehorse? Because I've always loved the sport. I've been going for 40 years, and uh, I, about a year or two ago, decided that I would like to own one. You belong to this harness racing fan club. Tell me about it. Well, uh, Dan Conway is the editor of the magazine, and we met him about uh, two years ago. Um, and we started going to his um, outings, and uh, this is how we met a lot of the horse racing people, and ultimately how we met Alan Tomlinson, our trainer. How did you pick out the horse, and how did it happen? Well, um, we went to the yearling sale last September, and um, with Al's help, um, we were looking at, at a number of yearlings, and uh, we came upon this one, you, you stole my heart. And we really like, both of us really like the way she looked. Is fan club a good idea for anybody? It's a chance for people to get to, to know the drivers, the trainers, uh, some of the track officials uh, at, at Hazel Park, uh, Jackson, Saginaw, um, and learn more about the sport itself. While James relaxes out on his houseboat on the lake, we are here in Ludington. We're also on the lake, so hey, he hasn't got anything on us. Right now it's 